Hi everyone, it's Kino. I'm here in Vienna and it's a beautiful sunny day and it's also the new moon day. So I wanted to take a chance to chat a little bit about the new moon tradition in the Ashtanga yoga path. Traditionally you don't practice on the new moon or the full moon in respect of the moon days and it's a great opportunity to take an extra day to give your body rest. If you maintain a six day a week practice, the moon days are really recommended. You should really respect them just to give your body a chance to recuperate. Um, I've definitely recommend that you don't practice on the moon days because you know Guruji said that you could often get an injury around the new moon or the full moon and if you did it would stay for a long time so what can you do instead well hey I mean if you're in a beautiful city like Vienna on a sunny day go for a walk enjoy museums do other things instead of the practice also if you want to be physical there's no reason why you can't say ride a bike or go for a walk or go for a swim or something like that the other thing to remember is that the moon days are also really great opportunities to go deeper into your spiritual practice. So if you have a meditation practice, you can definitely take that time to do more longer sitting and to be a little bit more introspective. If you have a practice that is based in meditation or spiritual practice, another thing that you can do is set the opportunity to create, especially on the new moon more than the full moon, new moon wishes. And this is a way that you can create intentions that are then carried forward with the energy of the moon into your life. What I like to do if you're going to try this to create some new moon wishes are to take 10 things and write them down on a piece of paper, number them 1 through 10, wishes as though the universe is granting your wish to be true, and then you just write them down, maybe date it, and you can take the paper off and throw it away because as soon as you write it down it's better to just hey send it off to the universe or if you have a computer something else I like to do is to you know open a word document and write down the date the new moon wishes and one through ten and sometimes save that in like a you know like a miscellaneous folder or something like that on your computer you can go back and check like a year later to see how many of your wishes and your intentions actually came true. What's important if you are going to work on new moon wishes is that you focus on the feeling of your wish coming true and don't worry about the technical details. You really want it to be as though the energy of the new moon and the universe together are really fulfilling your wishes. I hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration for what to do on the new moon days.